a perhaps a slightly more uh, applicable thing. It's, okay. it's possible that someone who is listening or watching yeah. may want to have to, to learn a bit more. And so we're happy to come give a short presentation and provide the food. Uh, yeah, that, that could be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that could be. Hey, uh, Art likes beer too, so you guys have. Oh, pe okay. You guys have pizza and beer, so it's, it's conceivable. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can do beer. Let me ask you this: um, uh, about what are some of the uh, technical challenges that you see with uh, cryptocurrencies? Ah, ah, thank you very much. I, this is uh, so. There are a few people who mm -hmm. think that. Uh, blockchains as they currently exist mm -hmm. are good enough and I hmm. I respect the that belief but I, I disagree <laughs> and, and Vitalik and the people that you saw in that clip earlier are mm -hmm. also seeing limitations for example it okay. can't do uh, Bitcoin for example can't okay. do as many transactions per second as Visa does so that is known as a scalability problem right the scalability issues right yeah um, so uh, there's also a uh, privacy and, and anonymity problem. Mm, so mm -hmm. even though some people think that uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin are anonymous, they're only pseudonymous. And yeah, yeah. In other words, if, uh, if, if someone finds out the particular account that you're using, then they can track your transactions. Mm, mm -hmm. So there's lots of sharp guys yeah. uh, at universities and outside of universities all over the world that are working to solve these problems. Okay. And not, they're not completely solved. Um, there's other problems I didn't mention. Mm -hmm. For example, you know, getting this uh, identity, decentralized identity that I mentioned earlier. Right, if, yeah. you, if you have yeah. scalability and uh, um, perhaps some other stuff, maybe that would work, but it's, right. it's not obvious what exactly needs to happen for a decentralized identity. So right. yes, there, is, there are limitations, and that has been one of the things I've liked about the Ethereum group, and that we try to promote at the, at the Decentralization Foundation, is that <laughs> the, the tech is not perfect. Mm, okay, all right.